All right, the map is Conway Castle, and these are the bonuses, two, five, four, five, six, five, seven, four, and three. And this is a one, two, three point hold for plus two is not very good. Green wants to go over here for this plus five, which is, yeah, completely empty. And it's a one, two, three point hold, okay. And over here, I think this might be a one point hold, this plus three. And yeah, it's, um, and we're also, we're yellow, fifth in the turn order. And red's stronger for it than we are, unfortunately. Oh, it's a two-point hold because this connects over here, so it's a two-point hold for plus three. It's, it's all right. There's a lot of blizzards down here. Actually, because of these blizzards, it's a one, two-point hold for plus two. And you block anybody from ever holding the towers for plus seven, so that's pretty good for blue right there. Yeah, that's great for blue. Does this blizzard make common ward easier to hold? This one does. Yeah, common ward's a plus four is a... Oh, can't see it. First time playing the map, by the way. Looks like a one and two point hold which is good but you're right next to blue these blizzards over here this blizzard makes south wall what is south wall a like one two three four and this is a five five point hold is this connect anything it's a lot to hold and split two and okay what is you doing purple what are you doing you're up here doing things and you over here inner ward is a one two three point hold for inner ward not sure this guy was doing that email in the lobby too i feel like this might be a troll um uh, the trolley type person oh they're all oh, they're doing that because he purple went to the area okay, that, that kind of makes sense where where am i strong i've got this four here if red doesn't go for this maybe we do go for it eventually i've got a lot of troops over here um i go over common ward blue just gonna mess me up that's a problem over there um stalls is contested you're over there uh, tower. This map has like half the bonuses are like you can't get towers. South wall, good luck. Uh, towers, good luck. North wall, good luck. Stalls and West Barbican have good ones. East Barbican is good wherever that is. Inner, I could try for inner ward. No, he's going for that. Oh. Wait, wait. If you're going for this, are you are you getting cards to fortify in? You're leaving it for me. That's wild. I'm not going to try and grab it this turn because that five years could just do damage to me. So instead, I'm going to stack over here. Maybe I get an easy card somewhere else, if at all possible. Maybe I can try to hit here for an easy card. No, okay, I see the game hates me. Easy card, thank you. And then we fortify this into, I guess, here. Sure, why not? I'm not going to rush getting this anytime soon. I'm going to wait a little bit. We're going to be patient. And we are going to... Ooh, green breaks blue... So they can't get their bonus. That's good for everybody except for green and also bad for blue because now green's going to be, uh, blue's going to be mad at uh, them by quite a lot. 12 territory, so you get an extra little uh, troop there is nice. But if I can get this, they take them back. All right, good dice too. And they push them out. Um, if I can get this, the one two point hold. Red strong there. Oh, I don't like that blue's fortifying over into here. That means they, they see what's going on over here and they're looking to break me if I go for this. I feel like they got their own problems to worry about, right? I mean, I could stack here and break them. Three troops, 4v2, 75% chance. I think that connects over there, right? Yeah. I mean, I have to hit that and then that, so maybe not. Maybe not. Sorry, first first recording of the day. Brain's still warming up. Red could break them, but I think red doesn't seem inclined to do that. Green and purple are fighting over here. Surprise green broke them when they have their own problems here, right? I mean, I could just hit here, hit here, hit here, and push blue out of here entirely. I mean, they're down here, but uh, does this even connect? This connects over to this. I mean, yeah, they can work their way back in. I mean, hitting a four sack is not really what I'm looking for right now. This might be one of those rounds where it takes me a few turns to get a bonus, um, mostly because I've got a big, scary red five stack right here and a big, scary four stack right here, and I need to be able to defend it. And unfortunately, most of my troops are on the other side of the board, so not so great for us. Red takes their turn slowly, but sometimes, you know, some people like to chill. Sometimes that's newer players, sometimes that's experienced players, sometimes that's players that are like very good that want to pretend like they're noobs so they don't get targeted. You know, I've seen that all the time. They want to hit that two because they're going for inner ward. I feel like they should have gone for East Barbican. They lost none. It's great dice for them. They're about actually about to get that inner ward. It is a one, two, three point hold that maybe blue or green wants to break. We are going to stack these over here. Do I want to hit green? Um, 
What I want is to get easy cards and have that be a nasty big stack. Can this three hit a one somewhere? Um, all right, fine. We'll hit a quick card over here since you don't have any easy ones over there. And then we'll try and fortify things into better positions. Where's a one that can hit with this? I don't know. We'll just move that over here. Move that over there. Plus three for green. Okay. Don't you dare stack that over there. Yeah, yeah. You 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 keep stalemating with purple. And you need you're looking for a quick card somewhere. Going for it there, alright. And I I'll, I'll, you you want to fortify this into that, right? Or that into this. Yes. You like to posture on borders. These guys, I got we got people here that like to posture on borders. Red's gonna get slapped out of there with good dice. It's a shame. Red would have been the person to break them there. But Red's focusing on their territory here, which will serve them nicely. I'm not sure I want Red to hold that territory. I don't like what a strong start Blue has here. I feel like Blue has just become unassailable now. Unless Purple... Purple wants to get a quick card and they want to hit that one of mine over there. I don't like how you guys are getting territory bonuses and we're not. I need to have a truce with Red. Maybe I need to just try and grab this bonus and hope to get lucky. I just need more troops to hold it. Even if I lose none, uh, 10, 9, 8. You gotta have like a 4 and a 4 protecting it. And I mean, I need to grab mine the same turn or before red does. I need to, I need to get I need to get my bonus before we're pushing green out of there. No, don't get your bonus. Ah, here's the problem. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all, at all, at all, at all. I'm going to... I, we have to try for an alliance. Try for an alliance. And, um... We, we have to just offer... We need, Red can mess us up here. They probably will. But uh, we need to try and make some content here. So let's match what they have. They're probably going to break me. And this probably won't become a video if I get rolled like that. But, um... What, like, what are you going to do, right? We got, we got to take a risk. Blue is dominantly in the lead with a two-point hold with a five and a seven. Um, you got a three-point hold, three, four, and seven. You're pretty good, too. I do have three more troops than you, but you're going to get a plus four, and you probably break me, and I don't get my plus three. It gives you a nice big advantage, at which point I probably just slam my eight into you and then just leave the match, right? Self-destruct and call it a day. You know, I'll do a quick one slam and get out of here. I'm not going to sit around. Some people sit there like, oh, you broke me once. I'll spend the next... 30 minutes of my life, you know, card trading, destroying you, I don't know. <laughs> my time's more valuable than that, but I will slam 8-3 if you break me, right? Right? I think it's very likely Red breaks me here. Very likely. Very likely. If Red's a newer player, which, I, which it seems like they are, um, Red, new players love to break him. I mean, if I was in Red's position, I would consider breaking me. I, I would definitely consider it. Slap that. Just take the retaliation. You know, then take me out and then try and, like, position over here, maybe? But I'm in a situation where Blue's had their bonus for several turns. Red got theirs, you know, either before me or the same turn based on what I did there. So I have to, um, I have to take a risk and hope to get away with it. Realistically, this is a match where I'm kind of not looking good. Like, did not have a good, Red had the best, yeah, but that, and that's Red's gonna hit my four. That's gonna GG. Maybe I can, like, butter them up with an emote, show them the love. I think they're gonna break me there. All right, you gonna hit me? No, they're not. No, they are. Oh, no. They really should break me. I mean, we're, we aren't allies here. I mean, we can be. We can work together against, um... We can work together against Blue. All right. Okay, I guess the giving them the heart barred them up. Sweet. Great. Love that. We'll, uh... I'll do... I need a card somewhere. What if I... Put two over here for a card? No, they're just gonna slap those out. What if I put them right here? And then slapped you out of here like this. Boom. And I'll also de-escalate um, away from your border. And we can be good neighbors. It's been a while since I've had a match where we've been good neighbors. Usually it's either they are bad neighbors to me or I am bad neighbors to them. But hey, I think the reason we're both like, hey, let's be good neighbors is because, I mean, I have to, otherwise they just roll me. Um, but lose just... They're a, they're, they're a big, pretty big threat on the board. If we go to war now, I think blue just runs away with it. Because green and purple are going nowhere. Still meeting with each other in here. If we go to war over here, so if they stalemate, we stalemate, and blue just gets huge across the board, well then we're in trouble, right? 
Look how strong they are with that beautiful two-point hold. Terrifying. All right, so blue player is pushing green out of there. I think green's trying to make it easier, make it so that's green's... Blue's trying to make it so that green's easier to make. Sorry, I haven't played Risk in like three days, and it's my first game. A little bit of a warm-up here, right? Sorry. Um, side channel, right? Lower your expectations for content on the side channel. It's more chill over here, right? Purple going for blue there. Okay. So what? how are we looking at? 30, 40, 40, 41, 30. You're getting 7 a turn. I'm getting 6. We're both just chilling and trusting each other. All right. There's a, there is a world where I could end up, like, pinned behind you. Oh, that's right. That connects over there. You attack over there. Okay. And you're pushing blue out of there. That's actually... Great. I like this that Red and I are both like pushing blue out of our portion of the board over here. Both doing some trust exercises. And you're stacking that there. I stack this here. I'm just going to keep trusting you. It's working out both for us. I'm going to get a quick card here. Hope you don't mind being trapped in there. And then we call that good. If Red decides they want to stack here and break me, I just slap that 10 stack out existence and then. Uh, come through here and break them back so it would be a very not strategic move on their part to try and break me right now so for us working together getting blue out of our side of the board is working out pretty well for both of us and it's pushed blue down to the point where they're even to, uh, on us with troops the car trades are rolling in here on progressive on Conway Castle yes slap blue hit that hit that blue too no all right fine but blue blue slowly getting pushed down to just their one side of the board over there I mean, if Red and yet, uh, if Red and I keep working together, we're in a pretty good situation here. Pretty good. I mean, we can honestly just trust each other all the way to the point where, like, um, if I hold here, they don't, and we trust each other, they don't have to defend this or this. We effectively both can have a one-point hold. Me here, them here, and then we can just work together against uh, these guys over here. The Alliance of the Ages. The friendship. Of forever. I'm surprised purple and green haven't worked out something over here. They could have gone for a different bonus elsewhere. Are you gonna? That's a lot. You're gonna try and take somebody out. Ooh, bold play to hit somebody that hard, but not be able to take them out in the same turn. That's a bold play. I can I like hit here, hit here, go across here, hit here, hit here, hit here, leave three, hit here, hit here, hit here, and take green off for three cards. Um, they have 16 troops. I would get... I mean, the bonuses might be big enough to justify it, actually. It might be big... Uh, the bonuses might be big enough to justify doing that, honestly. 16 troops. I would get a double card trade of... Uh, you have to card trade for 10, so it will be 12 and 15. So I get 27 troops next turn. Um, gives me 27... What's that? 53 troops. I'd lose maybe 13 taking out. I would end my turn with 40? Um, I don't know if that's worth, actually. Well, unless red beats me to it. No, they're stacking over there. Here's the thing. I don't, like, double card trade good. But I think if we leave green alone, if we leave green alone, there's a good chance they just self-destruct on purple. And I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, yellow, uh, he's trusting me some more. That's great. Plus six for us. Um, force car trade here. Um, these. Uh, what if we just did it for content? Do it for content, even though it may not be the most optimal move, and hope for the best. We'll try it. Why not? Go for it. If anything, if anything gets me a few more territories on the board, we take risks around here and hope you get away with it. Let it miss any green tiles anywhere. Get you out of here. We take that, gives me another immediate car trade. Maybe we did math wrong, we'll end up with more than 40, yeah. I think I mathed wrong. We do this, and, uh, yeah, another card trade. And we stack them here for safety. And let's not actually antagonize blue any further. Um, fortify this over into here for safety. Yeah, we ended up with 61, I did my math wrong, I don't know how I came up with 40. I don't know, but we're doing good now. All right, love that for us. We are in the lead for the moment on territories. Tied on second for bonuses. Got the most troops. Blue is just getting a quick card over there. That's fine. 
I'm playing the diplomatic game. I could have like tried to hit blue here and blue there, but I'm just trying to like, you know, be political. You've got plus five in the stalls, but you're actually you got plus five in the stalls. You're on par with blue. My alliance with red is benefiting both of us tremendously. Now blue and purple should probably work together against us. What do I do here? Can I get elimination next turn? Do I have a card train three? Um, no, I do not. No car train of three, so no, um, no, uh, taking anybody out right there. I mean, can I take somebody out with a 33 stack? 48, 47, I don't think I can take anybody out next turn. Well, if I get so, I mean, I'm getting like seven, which is 40. 40 stack, I still don't think I'm taking somebody out, right? Especially with how scattered across the board they are. Maybe work on starting to, like, squish people into one region of the board, maybe? Um, make it easier for eliminations? Question. Ooh, I mean, I feel like if I start hitting people's like threes and twos and fours, they might not take super kindly to that. Hmm. I mean, we're all pretty well scattered across the board. If I start making it easier, taking other people, then that, then that what happens is then, um... That makes it also easier for other players to, you know, make the easy eliminations right. We don't want that. All right, eight troops here. I think this is a just um, card trade round is what this is. We hit this. Leave the three there. And then, um, actually, no, we can fortify this over to... Leave the three there. Fortify that over there, I guess, right? And, uh... Just keep doing what we do. We're five troops ahead of red, and even though they've had a bigger bonus. And uh, because we eliminated a player. No. Do I have a card trade here? We have no card trade in four is honestly a problem for us. Bit of an issue. Also, I just realized that red's vulnerable down here to they're not they don't have a one-point hold here. Blue could break them, but blue is also playing the diplomatic game and not breaking them. Or they just don't see it. They're understanding they're playing the political game here. Alright. So we don't have a we don't have a card trade on five, so again, we're just going to probably like stack the stack. Um we're gonna get an easy card without angering red. I could stack two here and hit this for a card. Ah, oh, perfect. I can hit here for a card. It's fine. Purple stacking some over there. I don't know why. I don't know why they're stacking there, because they're trying to, like, line up to hit that. What a weird place. Oh, because you're just trying to protect from here? I guess you could, you're, you got a one, two-point hold. You're just trying to protect... You're just ex you're extending your, like, protection there? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on there. What do we want to do in our turn? We want to... Do I want to fortify this back away over into here? Probably. Um... You are making it so if, if I want to eliminate blue, you're kind of in my way. I think we attack here for a card. Stack here, fortify this back, and purple can card trade here, whatever. And, I mean, oh no, it's a card trade on four from you. 90 troops, if you want to take me out, you probably can do it. Um, but I'm scattered really far across the board. Um, are you going to go for purple instead? Or are you going for blue? That was a quick action. You've been pretending to be a new player, I think. Or there's a bit of lag going on here. No card trade here. My f uh, 45 stack, I don't think, takes out blue because you're in the way of that 12 stack. Um, blue is actually kind of low, but they're about a card trade in. I think we just do one of these. We hit over into here. And then we fortify this back over into here. And, um... Just woman lament that we didn't have a card trade in four. We're probably going to get eliminated here. If Like, there's a good chance we get eliminated here for five cards. Because we have five cards. Although, 73 troops is a lot. And I am all over the board. Maybe that's what protects me. I mean, sl slamming through 73 is a lot. Although, we're reaching the point. The card trades get to be this big. You, you got to take somebody out. So, we have a card trade on five. 30 gives me 70. I'll have at least, like, I'll have 80 some. Are you going for me, Blue? We're just going to a quick card. You're just getting a quick card. All right. I'll have an 80 stack. 
what can I do with an 80 stack? Um, I, we, hmm. The blue player seems experienced. They're, they're stacking over here to make it, they're getting a big kill stack over here. Hmm. 30 troop trade in. Blue still, a, a kill in blue would be very good. 35 troops could stack here. 35 plus my whatever, if I don't get broken, it's like 40 some. That takes out this stack here. Um, but my 47 then has to hit here, hit 3 or 12, hit here, hit here, hit here, hit here, here, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, or hit this, leave 3, hit this, hit this, and be able to do it. Oh, get that 41 stack on my way, purple. Purple is blocking me from eliminating blue. It's a problem for me. You're blocking me from the kill on blue unless you fortify that on my way. Nope, you are blocking me from the kill on blue, which makes me want to take you out instead. But you have 95 troops. And I, so, purple has effectively kill guarded me from accessing blue. That's a problem. Um, I don't want to betray red, and they're also strong. Blue would be the one to go for right now, because I'd, I'd, I'd get a double card trade in. But purple's blocking me. I guess I should have fortified down to here. Well, then that, I'm blocked over here, because the guys are attacking this. So, I could fortify down to here. Red might think that as an act of aggression. I need to get this stack mobile. And... Purple's making, purple's just lining themselves up so I have to kill purple. Do I just try and take purple out for three cards? A th like, 35, uh, let's see, that'd be like 90 some with good dice. Maybe I just take out purple? I mean, maybe we just take out, if purple's trying to block me from getting a kill here, maybe we just go for purple. It leaves me very weak, but you're not giving me a lot of choices. In fact, you're actively blocking me from going for the kill I want. So, how did I do this? Um... I'll need to hit here, 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 here. It's such a hard kill, though. Because this over here. What if we just don't do it right now? Instead, we start making it easier to do it in the future. So we'll stack this over... No, not all of it. Stack some over here, like this. Stack some over here. I don't love what purple's been doing to me over here. Blocking me. And so we are going to... Start making you easier to eliminate in the future. If you're going to uh, block me from getting a kill guard on blue, which is what you're doing, I don't know if you're doing it on purpose or not, but you are doing it, I'm going to make it easier to eliminate you in a single turn here. I've got 115 troops. I'm not really somebody that they want to take out right now. Anybody decides to try and take me out this turn, it's like they're, they're just going to lose. I only have three cards. I've got more troops by far. Blue slowly working on making me easier to eliminate, which is fine. Part of the game. Now, next time I want to eliminate purple, if you don't get a card trade in three, I stack some here, take this out, I stack here, boom, boom, I have a card trade in three, that'd be huge if I did, I don't. I hit this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. I, I can stack like four here, hit this, hit this, and then we go or in through here, hit this, 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 I need to have like four right here to get that. You, know, you have a hundred troops though. Um, but you don't have a card trade. I still would rather get blue, but you won't get out of my way, purple. Oh, I take out purple. Um, gives me, um, a card trade right away. I, I lose probably 80 troops taking you out is the problem. That's the problem. Um, I need to go for somebody who doesn't have a card trade of four, really. Mm, let's just keep, let's just like bide our time and keep making it easier to eliminate purple. They, purple's not really prime. as long as I don't hit here or here, purple is not primed for an elimination. Actually, they, they freed my stack to go down this way, but that doesn't matter because it's in the way. Wait, uh, wait, they cleared, that way they cleared a path for me to go for blue. Um, I don't have a card trade, but I could go here, 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 here. Um, you know, here, 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 here. I've got path on blue, but now I need to deal with this. I don't have a card trade right now, unfortunately, but they did clear a path for me to go for blue. Um, Purple's not gonna love this, but well, I'm going to start working my way over towards here and we're gonna fortify this over to, I guess, here. We're not making a friend out of purple, but purple literally blocked me from going for my kill on blue. Or they realized or not, so... We do need to deal with that. 
and my 90 stack is scary. Blue trades in 40 makes it. Yeah, see, I needed to get you before you got that card trade, but purple got in my way, unfortunately. And you're doing a good job of making it hard to take you out. You're going for red? You're going for the kill on red now? Or you're going to work your way through towards me. I think you're going for the kill on red. Or you're just breaking bonuses. You're just breaking bonuses. That's frankly not that big of a deal at this point in the game. And if I'm lucky, you've angered the uh, red player. That's not that big of a deal. I can deal with this. I can deal with that. The blue player... I mean, those extra few troops a turn do help. But, um... I, th I think we... What do we do here? If you don't get a card trade on four... I thankfully have a card trade. 45 plus... Maybe like five troops. I can have like a 140 stack. No card trade is huge. We eliminate purple. We eliminate purple and hope that red starts to work against blue. Getting, a, getting five cards here is fantastic. It's going to leave me very weak. I might get eliminated afterwards, but for content, we have to take risks. I'm not going to just sit here and stack a card trade forever. So we... This five hits here. That's gone. We hit... Um, uh, we hit here. Leave four to hit this. And the rest of the stack hits here, here. Hmm. Or I can just hit here, 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 here. Leave three. Go through here, here. Here, 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 here. Then hit blue as well for retaliation. Oh, please don't bot out, red player. I need you in this game. I need you actually in this game. Working with me. Okay, you're still here. You just took a really long time to card trade. That's fine. Go ahead and attack blue. You're going for are you going for the purple kill? No, it's getting a quick card. Getting a quick card, alright. That's fine. We card trade here. We're going for purple kill. We know exactly what we're doing, and hope we don't mess this up. Do a little bit of this. We do a little bit of this. A little bit of this over here. A little bit of this down there. We hit this, only leave three. We hit over here. This, we the dice. Wish I got gotten kills earlier. You're the one who blocked from getting blue earlier, which is why this game's all gone a little bit too long. They're saying good game. Indeed, I'd say good game back. But I'm a little bit busy trying to get you out before the turn timer's over. There we go. All right, and let's say, um, uh, where's well played? Well played. And we hit this as well. There we go. It gives us another immediate car trade. Makes it strong. Can I get another kill this turn? I don't know if I can. 57 here. We do trade that. And 144, can I get you with this? I don't think I can. I would need great dice. But what we can do is... Do we shuffle the board a little bit here? I think we shuffle the board. I'm going to weaken you here. That way red might um, get inclined to go for you. Might be my, my play here. You might get mad about this, but I'm, I'm going to work with red against you here. I'm going to fortify this. Over to, oh, uh, where? Maybe here. And hope you don't slam it. Luckily for me, your 39's over here. Your 36 over here. And if I have a card trade on four, which I do, maybe I can take out blue as well if red doesn't go for the kill. Luckily for me, blue's 39's over there. I've got 113 troops, they've got 83. They're taking their time thinking about what to do. They're probably gonna try and hit me a bunch this turn if I could if I had to imagine. No, just getting a card. So in spite of purple block me from getting blue when I needed to, the fact that these players seem to be a little bit scared to go for kills is working out for me. Now if the red player turns on me now. If the red player turns on me now, I'm in trouble. Hopefully they don't. They're in the lead by 32 troops. So they're well in the lead there. Um with my car trade, I just uh, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. There's a three block my way there. Um, well, the card trades are 60, so I'll have to... I'll just stack on the three to push this out here. This 65 takes this out. We trade here. Takes this out. Now, it won't be one the red who might actually be a newer player. Yeah, the card trade from taking out blue, we just then devastate red a little bit. No, you're going, you're going for blue. Oh, good. Well played. Okay, well played. All right. I'm going to say well played. All right, so you're going for blue, which gives you another immediate card trade afterwards. Well done. Now I got to walk around the long way to get there. Okay, good job, good job. All right, red player, uh, more experienced than I gave them credit for. They seem to know what they're doing. 
But this does eat a lot of their troops, but they'll get them right back. And now we're in a 1v1 situation between the two of us. They take that out. They're down 108 troops. We're even on troops, but they're going to card trade before me. It's very good. So, I mean, if we walk away to second place, I'm happy with that, considering that purple blocked me from getting the blue elimination a long time ago when I needed it. So that's going to be good there. They're going to hit my... They're going to go for my 65 there. Where do we stack? We probably stack here. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Through here. Got to beat them the 1v1. They lost 56 to my 65. I'm way down in troops, but I get a card trade before them is huge, though. I get a card trade before them is huge. I need to use that to my... Oh, yeah. They're pretending to be a new player. Look how fast they're going. They're pretending to be a new player. It was all a ruse. All right. We need to do damage here. 15 troops. And this gives us 65. We need to just uh, take our actions quickly here. Uh, time will be of the essence here. Break this. We will um, break this. Hit into here. Uh, do that. We'll hit this. Hit into here. Leave three. Hit this. Hit this. We will um, hit you. Hit the guy over here. Move up a bit. Slider. All the actions. All the decisions. Hit this over here, leave three, hit this over here, and pat this over here, put that there. You hit into this and this. We're running low on time. You go faster. Only leave three. Hit this. Oh, that's not good. Crap. You hit this and fortify this over into here. We screwed that up, but... Um, if they don't have a card trade in three, we're in a decent situation. I should have been less focused on getting all the little nooks and crannies, more focused on breaking their bones. The card trade on three! I'm gonna lose to a card trade on three! It's not fair, man! It's not fair! The card trade on three! Oh, man! Oh, please mess up. Please, no, oh, you don't, man. And my, my hope here is that they don't... Oh, they don't path properly. Well, they can't eliminate me because they didn't get that three there. Okay, that's good. They won't eliminate me this turn because they left that three there, but they're going to have more troops than me. I'll get a the next card trade before they do. The problem is, do I last long enough? This is the red player has been pretending to be a new player the whole match. I needed to break their bonuses. Not that it mattered. The card trade in three was just too too good, unfortunately. What do they have? An eight there, five there, three there. That 17 is doing damage. Oh, they're going to run out of time here as well. I should have focused on breaking their bonuses. Those extra troops would have made the difference. Six for us. No card trade. Um, We stack it... Uh, we stack this here. And... I'm going to stack it here. We hit this. Oh, I can't believe that. I needed that to hit, bro. I needed that to hit. All right, well, we're going to hit over here. That breaks that bonus. We're going to go over into here. Need to be hard to eliminate, so I need to do. I need to be all over the board. Hard to eliminate. I need better dice than this, bro! I need to stop losing these 80% dice! You're killing me, game! Come on with this horrible luck. I need to be all over the board. Hard to take out. I need to slow roll some of these. And you, I need to slow roll. Go. All right, that's good. I need this to slow roll. Go. Uh, no, not good. Right, come on. Need this to slow roll. Go. Come on. Good. No, not good. All right. I think it's looking grim for us here. I think 11 troops. I think they can take me out this turn. I got 34 troops. Maybe not. Card trading three. Yes. We're back in it, boys. We're back in it. How do I take you out? The thing is, I need to take you out with this stack is the problem. I could, I could have won this already. Maybe if I hadn't. If this wasn't so hard. Oh, I'm not the only one getting bad dice, huh? All right, we need to take out your big stacks. Card trading through is great for you, but I got a card trading three, so we're still, the game's still afoot. I need to break your bonuses as best I can. Um, I need to go around the board quickly breaking bonuses, not worry about like collecting bonuses myself because you're just gonna break them for me, right? Doing all your things. Doing all the things, all right. Your 11 stack over there is scary. I could f click here and go there, hit this, hit this, hit this. Hit this, hit this, hit this, run through here. Gonna have to do, I think. I'm way low on troops, but the card trade before you is huge. You're still massively in the lead, though. I don't think I, I can't move quickly enough to take you out this turn, so we just gotta break bonuses and do damage. 
break bonuses and do damage right now. So we got to do and say, well, good game. That that requires me taking you out this turn, which I'm just not going to be able to. I don't think so. Um, I'm not going to worry about going down there. I don't have time. I just need to damage you up all over the place. Get rid of things that can do damage to me as much as I can. Get this. I'm actually going to split some of this down there. Your, um, oh, doesn't connect up there, huh? Alright, go over here. Gotta be quick. Break all the things. Mostly just trying to break your bonuses. That's the main goal here. All the bonuses must be broken before we're running out of time. Get this healthy stack out of there. Uh, hit this over here. Did this. Now here, leave that to hit you. This. Come on. No, don't. Zoom in, game. Zoom back out, please. Uh, this hits over here. Um, Alright, fine. Run out of time. The turn timers wrecking us both. I need to fortify that 11, honestly. Here's the thing. You might get a card trade on three, and then we're back to square one. Um, I needed to fortify that 11. Wait. They bought it out! <laughs> they bought it out! You shouldn't have. You could have won this. You could have won this. Because if you get another card trade on three, you're back to doing damage on me. Maybe they were... Inter inter intermediate, I guess. The fact that they gave up their means, they're probably intermediates. Why would you give up? You, you, you had this. You had this. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to panic a little bit less and just work on this. There's probably more there than I needed. It's fine. Um, put these over here. All right. Well, oh, oh God, that doesn't connect. I hate these maps where it's hard to tell what connects to what. Um, just like, just make it easier to see what's going where, huh? All right. So luckily, they gave up. So me making goofs is more acceptable. If that bot card trades on three, they definitely should not have given up. If it doesn't, well, maybe we're okay. Hit this. Only three over there. Keep cooking over here. Hit this. Sure. Um, let's fortify this over down to here. If the bot card trades on three, Red made a mistake. Big mistake giving up, I think. Card trade on three? Okay, so the... All right, so even if they had stuck around, they would have lost. Even if they hadn't bought it out and they stuck around, they would have lost because no card trade through the bot. If there's card trade in three, the bot would have card traded on three. Now, like, a, they needed a card trade in three and to like outplay me, which, because they're not playing that great this match, just like I said, I haven't played a few days, warming up here. It wouldn't have been too hard for them to do. All right, let's work on wrapping it up then. If we can, let's do something over here and bit of this. This can go over into here, I think. Work over here. This is the first time playing this map ever, by the way. So, wondering why I'm playing, like, booty. Uh, that might be part of it. Also, I'm rusty. Also, I'm not, I'm not a grandmaster by any means, but there it is! Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch, too. See you next time. Forgot to have my name there. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I change it every time. And, uh, wait for it. If you want to see the ranks, Expert, intermediate, beginner, expert. Really? You're an expert and you leave that? You could have won. I mean, you didn't get the card traits if you wanted that, but still. Good match, though. But there it is. Love to see it. See you next time.